why the glare is brutal. Morning there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna have to talk loud because it's hot in here and I got the fan on because it's hot in here. I told you that uh, from where my boat trailer sat. that uh, the tires went flat and I have been to seven different stores today and nobody sells this tire on this hub I have found this tire on a four lug uh, a single center lug but not not on a five so I had to get creative and what I what I'm gonna try is I'm going to try to convert this, which was a tubeless tire, into one that takes a tube. So I did find the tube. And as you can see, I've already taken the liberty of getting it off of the, uh, the bead, which basically was me sitting it on the floor and standing on it until it begged for mercy and popped loose. And then I took a pair of pliers and right out the uh, the valve stem what I'm gonna attempt to do from here is to put the inner tube in the tire now I've been having um, issues um, but I think my biggest issue is this. This is where the valve stem came out, and it came out the side. But I'm 90% sure the tube comes straight out the top. I'm predicting that that's going to be a big issue. So that's the part I'm going to try to put in first. So we're going to take off this little cap. Sorry if it sounds like I'm yelling at you. Like I said, it's hot in here and I got the fan on. And I'm going to push down the wall of the tire. And I'm going to try to push the valve stem up through the hole. Holy crap, I got it. Maybe, 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 I got it. Woohoo! Put the cap on that so we don't lose it. All right, so I've got the valve stem up through the hole. The rest of it should be pretty much just tucking the inner tube up inside the tire like it, like I would on a bicycle. At least it's what I'm hoping for. So I'm going to get started on that. Now, I've never done this on this kind of tire before. But this is the better of the two that went flat. The other one, the actual tire part is dry rotted real bad and I was worried that once I started prying on it to try to get it off the hub that it would just disintegrate. And it might have been okay, I don't know. Alright, tuck so I can pull. Tuck, tuck, bastard, tuck. Yeah. Anyway, once we get it tucked all the way in, I'm going to hook up the old air compressor and we're going to get it aired up. Now it says on the sidewall of the tire to inflate to 60 pounds. I suppose I ought to check the inner tube box and see what it says. tube in. Now this is a tool like I would use on a bicycle tire. It's plastic. I don't know if it's going to be beefy enough to do this. But what I need to do is I need to get this down past the bead so that the, uh, the tire will come back up. Which is what I'm working on now. So far, so good. Um, so that you guys don't have to sit here and watch me poke at this thing for a half hour, 40 minutes, or whatever. 
I'm going to stop recording here, and I'll come back once I get this all the way tucked in, or if I can, get it all the way tucked back in. I'll see you in a minute. Ooh, that's loud. Okay. I've got it in. I've got the inner tube tucked all the way around. We're about to give it some air and see how we did. Well, that was a failure, much like 99.9% .9 of my life, a giant fucking failure. I don't know where, but I can feel air coming out of it, which means I somehow poked a hole into the inner tube, pushing it in. I wonder if they'll take it back after I poke the hole in it. Well, shit, boys and girls, uh, that's a wrap. Uh, here in a little bit, I'm gonna fire up the camera again and see if I can't fuck up putting the tire, uh, the seats on the damn thing, because it's just been one of them fucking days. going to replace some seats now hopefully I can do that right that's what we're replacing it's all ripped up and stuff that's what I bought to replace them with I'll throw those over here and get them out the way this one looks like it had something burrowing in it they're just it's time they're nasty uh, they were a mega pain in the ass to get on so I don't imagine they're going to be any easier to get off.
got the old piece of shit fucking seat out. It pissed me off. So we used a persuader. Fuck this shit. I'm gonna put the fucking new one on. Fuck you. Of course, the new one can't be the same size as the old one. So that adds a little bit of fun. It's on. We just need to put those in the hole and make it work. Then that one and try it, or you want to just turn it? Yay. Feel sturdy? Feel sturdy. Awesome sauce. Yay. Now how are we going to put the kayak back on? <laughs> Angle it. Corner. This way. Up on that side? Yeah. Alright. Now that the seats are done, it's time to change the tire. This is the tire that doesn't hold air. Uh, this is the one that I had to find a gas station and put air in while we were out at the lake. Here's my four-way. I haven't done my jack yet. This is the tire that I put the uh, inner tube in. Now, when I was putting air in it with the compressor, I felt air rushing out along the rim but it's been holding the same pressure for a couple hours so I don't think it was the inner tube that I put in here leaking I think that when the inner tube filled up with air it pushed the air that was still in the tire out around the edge that's the theory that I'm going with anyway so I'm going to loosen those up set the jack up and I'll be back alright we're jacked I've knocked them loose but I foresee that being an issue So I think we're going to have to have somebody hold the tire still and someone do the lug nuts. So, uh, this could be fun.